I am a Microsoft chill. Xbox Game Pass is the best value in gaming. And this is not an ad. This is actually a video detailing you the new update, the 2008.1001. There we go, that one that you've all been waiting for. For the, uh, for the Xbox Game Pass for PC, the new user interface has been given some, uh, some tweaks, a couple of little, little updates that are very cool. And, and worth doing a video about for people that might be on the cusp of, of getting this subscription service or aren't even aware it exists. So here we go. Now, the first update is a performance update. For me already, this is a very fast UI. It is uh, very clean, works very well, and um, th the fact that they can make the pages load even faster and consume less memory, not essential for me because I hadn't really noticed it being an issue in the first place, but I'm never gonna complain when, when a company makes improvements like this or a service gets improvements like this. So that's a very good start. Secondly, mods. You can now modify supported games on your own with your own mods. Now, as a PC gamer, this is a big reason why people come to PC. Uh, it is one of the big selling points to PC gamers or to console gamers to make the switch uh, to this, this, this um, this platform and now the uh, the game pass is supporting some games with your own mods which is very good I, I know that um, this is important to a lot of people personally I don't use too many mods but uh, maybe now if it is on here and it's easy to do then it might be something I look at video preview on hover that's very good at is that this is gonna save me drilling down a couple of uh, doing a couple of extra clicks to go into a game and, and to watch trailers and stuff the fact you can hover over it and just see a small preview that's cool that's very cool I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be mad about that at all also in there we have the desktop shortcut right click on a game on the sidebar to create a desktop shortcut for it uh, be, but they want you to come back into the UI, of course they do, because their store is linked into that. Very clever. Um, this, for me, is the best part of this update, because I have to click in... Say I want to play Gears Tactics, right? I have to click into the, the, uh, the Game Pass for PC app. And there was, at one point, it got fixed, but there was, at one point, um, an issue where the Xbox app was taking over my microphone, which made it a real dick... Because if I was then going to stream or record that game, I'd have to force stop that app using my mic, but still have the game loaded up, bunch of stuff. So now I can have the games on my desktop um, in icons with the rest of my games, because I like them to be neat. Then uh, that's, a great, that's a great bonus. I love that. They've added a couple of menus for games that are leaving soon and, and new games. Uh, quick link buttons, just things that... I think as they add more games to this service, a lot can get lost in the shuffle. Uh, if, if, unless you go on all games or you search specifically for a game, then you may not even know what this service this service has to offer. So the fact that they're adding this um, these these new boxes, new dialogue, new new ways to discover different games, which I think Xbox, Xbox Game Pass for, for PC is already very good at doing. It can give you like a random game if you click on one of the things, it'll like what to play next. It'll like shuffle and just throw something up random for you. Uh, I actually think that's a very good idea. Another part of this update I'm really excited for is the fact that the voice chats are now party. So I'm hoping that when I play crossplay, uh, if I'm on PC and my friends are on console, especially as I stream, I like to have a hotkey to be able to mute my, myself in the party so that my friends can't hear me talking to my Twitch chat. At the moment, I have to use the console companion app, tab out, mute myself, tab back. It's just an absolute mess. So being able to potentially bind a mute key uh, because the Xbox Live Party function has been added to the PC companion app, being able to bind a hotkey to my stream deck or to my mouse or to my keyboard or whatever is a massive function. And I definitely am going to play more games with my Xbox friends um, because of this. It is one of the main reasons I don't stream too many games with my friends on Xbox because it is just it is so difficult to manage the chat. And I know they don't mind, but I don't want them to hear me talking to my, my actual Twitch chat or stream chat because then they're like, what are you talking to me? And it just gets, the comms get really messy. So um, this is huge. I, I'm very happy. I'm, I'm interested to see if this works. I will potentially feed back to see how good this uh, this function is. Maybe do another follow-up video on it. But um, there we have it. That's the key updates from uh, for me that are important to me for this. And um, 
if you guys uh, are on the brink of getting this service, you weren't aware it existed, and you want to maybe have more questions or you want to ask me more, put a comment in below and, and I will respond to it. Like I said, I, I do believe this is the best value in video games. I think people on PC don't even, a lot of people don't actually know this exists still. Um, and, and the fact that I think they do an introdu introductory offer for a pound a month for three months before it goes up to the regular price of £10 a month. People aren't aware of that either, so you can literally try this for almost a quarter of the year for th essentially £3, which is, um, I mean, you can see the games here. It's, it's fucking incredible value for money. So, uh, GG's Microsoft. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep making Game Pass uh, a great service that it is. And I hope that Sony and Nintendo do the same thing, because I'll sign up for all of them. I'm a, Honestly, I'm gullible. I'll have everything. At this point, I'm just going to work to pay for my subscription fees. And rent. And food. And peripherals. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you want to watch my streams, I'm twitch.tv forward slash rocketmanluke. Six or seven days a week, variety streaming, all sorts of stuff. Come hang out. We've got the best chat on the internet. I've said it. It's official. Take it easy.